the morning. It is week four, day eight. So it's probably gonna be very busy. So there's a little bit of light there. I do need to leave now. I will catch up at work. I'm doing some wine inventory in the boutique right now. I love this mirror. So I am back. We had my practicum earlier, we had a meeting at school for a presentation we have on November 8th, which is next Friday. I'm going back tomorrow from 10 to 1 because Wednesday's the big day. I'm doing everything I can to help out. This is a big deal, this is the big event, this is what we're all, this is what it's all about. Let's get it done. So this is gonna be another three-day vlog for the practicum. Right now I'm watching the Shane Dawson documentary. I'm gonna edit a little bit more of my H&M try on haul video. Oh, Kristen is booking her flight to come out here. That's very exciting. And my dad's also gonna come after Thanksgiving, like American Thanksgiving um, into December so he can do the lights. So we're really excited about that. Good morning. Welcome to the practicum day nine. Tomorrow's event day. All hands on deck the day before. So here I am, it's freezing out. I woke up like at nine or like 8.40, just like shivering because it was like 30 degrees outside for some reason. And it looks beautiful, which is confusing, but like not really because it's Vancouver. Hopefully today is a super productive day. Can't wait to help out and see exactly what I will be doing. All going into plexis for tomorrow. about to be done for the day. I'm just cutting out one last thing that I need. Everything is being taken over to the hotel right now. I helped load up someone's car for that. This whole experience so far has been really fun because I get to see, not really start to finish because I came on like a lot later after the process had already been started. I just happened to be here in the month of execution. It's just been really, really fun because I've gotten to see really up close what all of this is going towards and like and that's just super cool to me that I get to be a part of that as a student. I'm just really really excited and really like psyched for tomorrow. morning and happy day 10. It is success luncheon day, so that's really, really fun. I'm wearing the same thing as yesterday because I just fell asleep in it when I got home. We are gonna dress very business formal today because this is a very big formal event. I just tried on like eight different combinations of outfit just to settle on probably this, the most basic thing, but this is business formal to me, so this is what we're doing. This is comfortable enough that I'm willing to wear this for the entire day, no problem. That's kind of why I picked it. I don't believe in having to be uncomfortable when I'm wearing my business clothes. I don't think that that is a sacrifice I have to make, which is why all I own is sneakers and finding the right pair of formal shoes is very difficult because everything is very uncomfortable. Yeah, now I'm gonna do some makeup. I'm also so happy my face cleared up. It was rough when it was what it was, what, like two weeks ago, a week and a half ago, when it was just absolutely disgusting. Yeah, no, no, that's over and gone. We are headed to the hotel that this is gonna be held at today. So I'm not going to the office, I'm going to the hotel. I'm excited for today because I am gonna to get to see everything I said yesterday, the whole coming together of all of this. It's so exciting and it's 9.20. I'll update when I get back or when the day is over. So this is very exciting, day 10. All the names that we painstakingly put in order. The bracelet. Here we are headed towards the ballroom. This is 
has been super fun. We're having a great time. We're uh, having a little break right now because right now we're waiting for the luncheon to end so we can go pick up some other things to set up for like checkout with like the things we're giving away like wine and with centerpieces. So yeah, that's what's happening right now. I have a cereal cup. Centerpieces are going in here and then we have the view of waterfront. Old Pearl Harbor is that way. And then this is the other hotel. A couple of the things I'm bringing back I'll show when I get back. Hi, so I'm back. The apartment is a little bit crazy right now. I'm gonna do a little wrap up of how Success Luncheon went today and I'm gonna show some of the stuff I got to bring home from it because uh, there's a lot of stuff left over at the end of these kinds of events that I got a chance to pick up if I wanted or else it would have just been tossed in the garbage. So yeah, it was so fun though. I'm so glad that I got to be a part of this because man, it was just a huge production and just from start to finish was just like, I'm so grateful, okay. I don't know what to start. Aritzia was one of the sponsors, so like, huge Aritzia bag. I don't know anything from there, but I got bags from Aritzia now, so yay. I was mostly in the registration section of this event because I was just stationed at the front. I helped make a lot of like the name tags and like place them all in the right order. So they were all at the front desk too and just other volunteers were there and some of the actual staff. So this is what they look like. And uh, it's just like this huge wooden, fake wooden log with a fake, fake, hopefully fake. It's real, damn it. This is gonna die and look so bad. It's got the white rose and then it has the, a succulent plant here. So like, how do I water this? Is this real? I don't know how to water this, but like, it's pretty stunning. Look at it. Like I caught some really great pictures of it during the event because I didn't realize I was going to be allowed to take one. So I was just kind of like snapping pictures of it being like trying to capture the beauty. But like it's so cute. It's so pretty. The other two are just uh, more succulents that were used as part of the whole centerpiece decor. Part of the centerpiece actually if they were like to buy were these uh, candles that came with it. Oh. The packaging is cool. It's got all this like gold design on it. It smells like minty, but it also just kind of smells earthy. I can't really tell what that ingredient is that like reminds me of mint. Yeah, this is cool. Candle and the centerpiece plant production that I don't know if I need to water. Like I need to figure out what to do with that. Look at it. Oh my God. <laughs> it's just so pretty. These are two more succulent plants. I'll just pan the camera down so we can see. Also, there's laundry still all over the apartment, so just ignore all of that while we look at the beautiful flowers. These, I kind of want to put in over there with the ones that Tommy's mom got us because she got us this great little tri-flower display. So I definitely can put these in, but I don't know if they fit because of the shape. So let's just try and see if that works right now. So basically, Today was the big event that I've been helping out with for the last month and this is the big, big show that they've been working towards. And I put in so many hours in this first month, even though it's supposed to be over the course of six months because I really wanted to help out with this specific area because it's what interests me the most. It's like with events and different kinds of things that nonprofits do to raise their money and to be really engaged in the community. It was just so cool to be a part of and it was just so much fun to see it all come together. Getting to be around a bunch of other volunteers because I'm. I am a practicum student, but I'm technically a volunteer because I'm not getting paid. This is definitely something that, you know, what moves people to want to help when it's not motivated by money or when it's not like to be paid, just to be a part of something that is doing such great work and being such a pillar of the community in Vancouver. It's just so special to see something that is so well established thrive and be recognized in the community as something that is thriving. I learned so much in this last month about like what it takes and like that I have some of that like drive and I have some of that like interest to do what is being done. Now granted I've been in a setting where it's all already kind of laid out for me and I just kind of have to follow the steps. Like I don't have to find all the sponsors. I don't have to find all of the like venues. It's already set up. I just have to make like the design things that we hand out that day, but that's just even more special because I feel like when you're at a place where things are going well and you're a part of that, like you can still learn a lot. Obviously you learn a lot also when everything's a shit show, but like it's, I am grateful to be in a place where it's not a shit show because it, I feel like I've had enough shit show for a little bit that I, I wanted to have something that was like truly already like 
set and the system was already in place and I just needed to help out with what they already know they need to do, not try and repair something that is broken. So I would say, as I've said probably 10 times over the course of the last 10 days um, of these practicum series videos that I just, I'm so grateful to be here because it's really taught me a lot and it's really just great to be around such great people. It's also such a beautiful day outside. You know, I got to go into a cool new hotel, the waterfront, so yeah, I'm gonna probably have to edit this video for a bit because this clip is already like four minutes long. I'm gonna see if those plants fit in that pot because I'm hoping they're at least a similar shape. If not, the container already is pretty uh, pretty, so I can keep it as is. Practicum series episode four, five, five, five. This is gonna be week five. We'll start next Monday and we'll probably just have some normal vlogs. Until then. Yeah. Thanks for watching.